know what? I don't think my headset's working right now. I think I've been recording this entire time. Yeah, I have. So, anyways. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Psycho Smiley, and this is Cthulhu Saves the World. The legends speak of an ancient evil known only as Cthulhu. So I've always been into the Cthulhu mythos and HP Lovecraft and all that, because I think it's fucking awesome. Um, start falling into the sky, probably gonna hit the earth. Uh, it is said to have come from this... Wait, it is said to have come to this earth from beyond the heavens. For aeons, Cthulhu ruled from atop the great city of Brule. Brule? 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 Yeah. Brule? Brule? I don't know. While the legends are silent as to the fall of Great Relay, Relay, they all foretell of the same prophecy. Cthulhu will rise again. Cthulhu saves the world. So I've always been a fan of the Cthulhu mythos because of its its out thereness and its its uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's it's just like it's it's otherworldliness. Um, and this is a an RPG, like a Final Fantasy style RPG, but Cthulhu. I don't know. I've never been into the Final Fantasy style games, but I like Cthulhu, so I'm gonna give this a shot. So wait, do not dismantle your hard drive while saving, loading, or viewing safe. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Close your window A. Window B. Jesus. If I want to. <laughs> If I, want, if I wanted to look like I played on a toaster, I can. Shut up, phone. I want to play with a controller? Mind Orb 5XD-2. Adjust thought settings for your Mind Orb. I'm going to try with the controller. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just get into it. New game. Normal. Easy. Hard. Insane. Bonus mode. Alright. Why is normal... Okay. For the intrepid adventurer, not too hard, not too easy. For the, for the frail in body and mind, uh, for the one who has walked into the darkness and returned, uh, you would have to be insane to choose this difficulty. So I'm just going to try normal. Yeah, I'm going to try normal. Because I, I still want to enjoy this game. Oh. For countless ages, the unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has lain do dormant in his underwater city of Relay. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at reading aloud. Um, Cthulhu. A being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive the immortals insane. Uh, Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on, oblivious to his presence. Until tonight. Awaken, great Cthulhu. As Cthulhu emerges from the bay, the world seems doomed indeed. But wait, what's that? A brave and mysterious stranger has appeared high atop Wait, from high atop yonder cliff. Using a strange holy power, the mysterious stranger has sealed away Cthulhu's horrible power. His power drained, Cthulhu washes up on the neighboring shore, defeated and dejected. Cthulhu, God, after waiting all this time, after waiting all this time, oh, I'm not gonna do that, uh, to have victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mysterious man is highly frustrating. I must get my powers back. But how? Luckily for the world, Cthulhu didn't know the one and only way to break the curse and regain his powers. In order to break the curse and regain his powers, he would have to do the unthinkable. He would have to become a true hero. Only by becoming a true hero would his powers return to him. Mwahaha, <laughs> foolish narrator. You, what? Breaking the fourth wall immediately. While you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping. Now, I do know the way to regain my power. Whoops. Hi, Cthulhu. Do hereby vow to devote my life to becoming a true hero, but only so that I can regain my powers summon Relay from, to the surface, and destroy the world, of course. And thus, a most unlikely hero was born. Welcome to your new life as a wannabe RPG hero. Before you begin, allow me to give you a few pointers. 
The Great Cthulhu needs no assistance. However, for the benefit of the lonely player who dares control me, I will allow you to continue with your feeble chips. Hold B to run, uh, while moving to run really fast. Wow, a foolish game developer. By giving me the ability to run, I'll finish this silly game in half the time. By I'll have whip table nip. I'll be able to sell it back to the game store before the trade in value drops. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Press Y to bring uh, press Y to bring up your menu. From here you can chat with members of your party. Uh, check out their stats, start the fight, uh, change your equipment, save your game, or teleport back to the cities you visited. Can I save at any time? What is this? A first person shooter? Use abilities like Insanity Slash in combat to make your enemies insane. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Insane enemies take more damage from attacks, but watch out! A few enemies become more dangerous when insane. Uh, there will be no watching out. I shall bestow the gift of Insanity upon all! Build up your combo count with hits, uh, then unleash a powerful combo finisher. Ability like Death Blow for massive damage. Are you done yet? If it's alright with you, I'd like to actually play this game sometime this year. Good luck! Cosmic monstrosities do not need luck. We forge our own destinies no matter what the cost to humanity. Okay. So, move really fast. Why? Oh, jeez. Okay, chat. That can only be when there are two or more characters in your group. Forever alone, and I have a sword and two to nip. Okay, let's um, fight. Thu looks for a fight, but no one responds. Uh, you got three one ups. You can use one ups to reset failed battles. Okay, let's go. I love this old style. Oh, aha. <laughs> Helpless maiden beset by vicious monsters. I shall rescue her, thus becoming a true hero. That would work for a normal person, but you have a lot of evil to atone for. It will make many heroic de er, it will take many heroic deeds before you are even remotely close to considering considered a true hero. Fatagan, I've read I've read the Call of Cthulhu, and I never figured out how to pronounce that word. For newts, newts. I can't even pronounce regular English words. Fatagon, I guess. Uh, then I will kill the monsters anyway, just for the sake of violence. Uh, Goo? Gooiz? Uh, approaches, a Gooiz approaches. Round one begins. Monsters are at normal strength. Okay, a insane strike. Magic spells none. Okay, so. Insane strike takes uh, three MP, targets one enemy. Oh, 14 over 2 hits, adds insanity, uh, combo finisher, okay, so let's try insane strike on that one. Performs an insane strike, 2 hits, 20 damage to the Guiz, the Guiz is insane. The Guiz attacks, 1 hit, 6 damage for Cthulhu, ah, uh, ah, uh, 7 damage to Cthulhu, round 2. Monsters are at 110% strength, oh, I guess they, mm, I don't like that. Okay, uh... Okay, he's almost dead. Endangered species for obvious reasons. Kill that bitch! Oh, jeez! 28 damage. Okay. Uh, ah, you bitch! Monsters out of 100. Do they just get more powerful as time progresses? Okay, I'm gonna try a death... Oh, that's a lot more powerful. Hell yeah! Yeah, what's up? Get dead! Fifth round! All enemies have been defeated. Choose your level of bonus. Uh. Okay. Insane strength. Uh, passive ability. Each insane enemy gives. Okay. Each insane enemy gives strength plus 10%. Each insane enemy gives magic plus. I'm gonna go melee. I've always been a melee character. Die, foul slime monsters! As Cthulhu defeated the final slime monster, he turned his gaze to the maiden that he'd rescued. Umi. Gorgeous. Ah, oh, he saw the way his tentacles. So sensual. 
I don't know what I'm talking about. But when Umi gazed upon the mighty Cthulhu, she did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. Instead, she saw this. Warning, image displayed may not may not reflect reality. Heroic Cthulhu saves the world! My hero! Hero indeed! Did you hear that? Do I count as a true hero yet? No. Protagon! <laughs> At this rate, I shall never become a true hero and regain my cosmic powers of destruction. Oh, great boy, who has saved me from the gooey de from a gooey death? Let me join you on your noble quest. Do you do anything besides get attacked by slime monsters? I have an affinity with the great with the creatures of the sea. Call them my friends. Pass. <laughs> oh. oh, and I have uh, this trident which I use to stab things. That's more like it. Uh, and above all, I, Umi, promise you my wholehearted love and devotion. You great big green hunk of handsomeness. Yes. The Great Cthulhu requires groupies. You shall do. Okay, does this mean we're dating now? No. We're in a strictly boxed-out groupie relationship. For now... <laughs> Umi joins the... Umi joins your party. Uh, now that you have a second party member, you can use the chat command. Uh, you can use the... You can also use the multi-character unite techniques in battle. Uh, gain more allies to mock more Unite abilities. Random encounters are now active in this, in this dungeon. After fighting 25 battles in this area, random encounters will be turned off. If you would like to fight beyond that, press Y and bring up the main menu and select Fight. Okay, oh, okay, she's there now. Okay, what about chat? Is that a live starfish in your hair? Yes, her name is Penta. Isn't she cute? Ha! Ha! Like, like five! Penta! Ah, clever! Uh, I live starfish... Oh, a live starfish in your hair. And people think I'm disgusting. Um, let's see. So I suspect... Oh, yeah, I guess right. Uh, I wonder if this is one of those games where, like, you just have to constantly press A because there might be something invisible. There's a bridge above. And we're entering the cave. The town of Miskatonia... It's just past this uh, series of caves. I'm sure there are some heroic deeds you could do there. To Miskatonia! Oh, I didn't bring... Oh, I didn't bring in rep any repel. I'm going to be attacked by so many Zubats. Uh, if you restored, would you like to save your game? Warning, do not remove the hard drive of the bot. Save slot A? Sure. Okay, am, am I supposed to get random encounters? Or am I? do I actually have to go to fight? Oh! Uh, a seahorse approaches. A sea Uzu. An Uzumaki? We're, we'll go with that. Uh, check magic, potions, unite! Call Kraken. Targets all enemies, power 22 every turn. Try it. Seahorse attacks. One hit. Oh, wait! Uh, I attack! Fuck you guys! Oh, no, screw you! But, uh. Call Kraken, you summon a giant Kraken. Uzami, one hit. Level. Oh! Summon the Kraken, it attacks the enemies, 22 damage. Okay, how much health do I have left? Not much! Tastes good with salt. Likes teddy bears and jelly beans. Okay. And she's gonna attack the other one. Uh, Seahorse, cast blood, one hit. Ah, you bitch! Fuck you, slut! There you go. Boom in. Yeah! Cthulhu! Wait, why is it green? Oh, is it because she's almost dead? Ah, right, crack it! Suck it! Yeah! Yeah! All enemies have been defeated! Oh, level up? Yeah! Umi's level 5. Wait, she's level 5? Look at that shit. Choose your level up bonus. Um, she's less likely to be attacked by an enemy. Uh, each insane enemy gives agility plus 10. I'm gonna go with. Hi. I'm probably gonna go with Hi. So she stops getting attacked. I'm actually gonna leave this here. So uh, uh, I have recently I haven't been playing a lot of games, but I've been trying to get back into it. In fact, you know what? I don't think my headset's working right now. I think I've been recording this entire time. Yeah, I have. So, anyways, 
I've recently been uh, doing a lot of Kickstarter stuff, and uh, one of the things I, I'm, a, I'm a super nerd, if you couldn't already guess, um, I recently funded a, uh, a Kickstarter page for a game called uh, Shattered. It's a steam, it's a dark steampunk, I don't know, it doesn't say it on the shirt, but I recently kickstarted a, uh, a tabletop RPG, it's super awesome, it's, uh, if you guys play tabletop RPGs, this one's completely different, instead of it being like humans and elves and dwarves and halflings and stuff like that, it's humans, vampires, drones, which are kind of like robot things, the wretched, which are mutants, they get bonuses from for mutations, and they can actually build, like, they can get enough mutations, and they can get, like, this it's called the chest burster, and it opens a chest, and the chest becomes a mouth, and they eat things, and it's awesome. Recently, I, I kickstarted them, and their project is uh, near completion, so if you want, you can, um, you can go ahead and look, the, go ahead and look them up. It's, uh, Shattered, just look up Shattered RPG, and it should bring you to roughly the right place. Uh, I recently got a... Oh, a playtest book for being a Kickstarter. Oh, that button. You didn't see that. And I got some of the, the cool stuff, like Shattered. So you can see, like, all the different races and whatnot. Like, uh, over this side, you got the Wretched. They're cool looking things. And whatnot, and there's humans in the middle. But Shattered. And it's awesome. And you should like it too. Well, that's about it. So, uh, see you guys around. Peace. <laughs>